All right, guys. So today we're doing a quick review on the um, the Olight Odin Mini. This is a uh, 1250 lumen flashlight. It's obviously weapon mounted. It can be a quick detach, so it can be a handheld light as well. It's rated for 12 or uh, 240 meters, and um, it's got a five year warranty. So we basically put this thing to the test, and I wanted to see how I liked it and um, the pros and cons. Uh, I had heard some rumors that the light wasn't handling um, the concussion from the from the muzzle and the shock wave coming through the through the gun and the light was going out and things like that. Right now, I've had this light on the rifle without the suppressor for roughly 500 rounds and then probably about another 500 rounds uh, with the suppressor on but I haven't had the light actually on for all thousand rounds but the light has been on taking the heat from the suppressor um, taking the shock wave and all that kind of stuff and when we did our test with it the couple times that we've run it and then our test that we did with it tonight no issues so I haven't experience that if some people are saying that it's cutting out on them um i haven't witnessed it but hopefully that's where that five-year warranty comes in if that was the case i don't know but i'm just going to go from from what my experience was um versus what the rumors are so first rumor on that i haven't experienced it right take that for what it is Next thing is, is the fit and finish of the mounting system. So um, let's go back a step. Let's go back to the actual, it says 12, 240 uh, meters of throw. When we were out there tonight and kind of scanning an area, I was able to see from where I was at least a solid 150 meters out from rough referencing what I know on the shooting range. Um, to where I could easily make out the pine trees and certain objects. The light was going out further into the distance, maybe 250, you know, 200, 300 meters. Um, but like visually, like seeing like there's a strong signature on that, on that tree, not just like ambient light. Uh, I would probably say like 150 to 170 meters. Um, just as a rough guess but so the light is bright it's got two settings you can do the light uh, when it's in this mode you can go uh, half lit or like a lower level or you can push in and it's a brighter level right which is kind of cool um, when I'm running it handheld you know if you don't want to go full blast on something you're looking for objects that are close by, you don't want all the light to come back, you know, over bright in your face, um, or you're looking at a light walled object or something like that, you don't want to kill your total night vision. Um, you know, you have that lower setting, which is a cool option. Um, and then going into a higher setting when you're trying to reach out and look into a distance. So I like that about it. So as far as the durability, it's been fine. It's been good. It's nice and rugged. It's all metal construction. As far as how far the light goes, it seems like it's pretty much on par with what they're saying. Uh, I, it has the two light settings, so for near and far, so that's good too. As far as the mounting of the light on the rifle, one of the things that I like is it does a 45 degree um, mount. So unlike the ones that are mounting straight on the side where the light sits like way out here, it brings it in a little bit closer and uses some of that space on that 45 where it's sitting between the top and the side of the rail. Um, I like it too where it's sitting there to where when I'm looking, I have a, obviously I'm lefty here, so I have a clear view with my right eye as I'm looking through the optic with my left eye. The light sits out of the way. It's not too high, it's not too on the side. It's looking over the top of the suppressor just off the side so it's not casting a lot of shadow. And it's still sitting a couple inches back from the tip of the a suppressor but you'll see in the video clips like there's no big shadow on that so it's a pretty cool offset <clears throat> one of the things that I do like about this is as simple as this is they have a rail connection 
for the pressure pad. And I can just push this on and move this around. And with all the different guns that we have that we're training with out here, or someone's righty, lefty, this, that, a lot of these guns are used for our students. Um, it's nice to be able to just detach this and throw it on. I don't have to have the Velcro stripping on everything for the pressure pads. So this is actually a really cool feature of how this just locks onto the um, to the Picatinny rail. I like that personally. Um, and then the pressure pad that comes with it, you have a quick tap and the light stays on. Quick tap, it turns off. If I hold it, I let go, then it's just a straight pressure pad. So if I just want it to stay on, I'm scanning, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm doing whatever, turn it off, on and off, I'm just doing peaks, right? Hold it, let go, and it flashes. So that works well. The pad that came with it, I haven't had any issues with the pad not working or the, the timing of the mechanics of that not working to where it was supposed to stay on and it didn't. The pad and that whole system's worked fine. Um, one of the things that I like about this too is when we go to switch from rifle to pistol, this is a super easy concept. It's pretty cool. I'm in here. If I have no light, I'm trying to be sneaky. I'm on night vision or whatever, right? To detach this, I can take this handheld if I need to, right? I just pull that off. It's a magnet. So it pops off easy. I've had this actually get snagged on something once doing all our combat mobility stuff, running through the obstacle course where this got snagged and it pulled it off, but it didn't, part of that could be like, oh, that's bad. The other thing is, is the cable didn't break because, or the flashlight didn't get ripped off the gun or nothing broke in the cable system or in the pressure pad because it detached. And then when I realized it was detached, I just hooked it back in. Um, so that was easy. So it has a ring where you can actually lock it. If you see there. So now if I pull on that, it's not going anywhere. But what I do like is the fact that we can detach this and then with one button, I can push this and this easily slides off. So if I need to take this handheld, right? I now have this and our pressure pads on the back. So again, now that's a light touch is low mode, full push is bright mode, right? So Again, I want to go back in. I want to put this back onto the rifle. It just simply slides in this little rail, right? It locks in, take my cord, and I'm good to go. So that's a pretty cool feature with some of the other flashlights that I've run out here. You know, we're having to undo a clamp with a screwdriver, or there's Allen wrenches, or there's tools involved to actually get the, right, the uh, flashlight off the rifle. So to be able to have this and be able to go back and forth, um, you know, and uh, be able to use it for your daily flashlight, you know, and then have it with you. And then if you're going to do night operations or whatever with your, uh, with your rifle, okay, cool. We're going to do night stuff. I'll just put this on. If I'm going to be running my rifle, no big deal. And now I'm ready to go again. So that's kind of a cool feature. As far as the... Charging of this goes is powered by a rechargeable battery and again this is one of those things where you can decide if this is good or bad so it's an odd shaped battery and um, if you like the other day we went to run it and do some tests with it and the, I forgot to charge the battery we had been running it it was fine we've been running it kind of seeing how long the battery would last we came back in we went to go run it and the battery's dead well we're on the range battery's dead I can't put anything in it because it's this odd shaped battery um, that you have to recharge. So from that standpoint, it's like, well, crap, we're not using this light tonight. I don't have one of those batteries with me, right? From the other standpoint is if you do remember to charge it, you're not having to spend a ton of money on uh, the different, you know, lithium batteries that would power your flashlights typically, and it gets expensive. So especially if you're using this as an everyday flashlight, you know, maybe the, the, Loose batteries aren't a big deal if you're only shooting a rifle every now and then. But I mean, if you're going to use this flashlight uh, every day, or it's going to be like a carry flashlight that you can mount on your rifle, then maybe recharging it's, you know, a good thing to have. So this same attachment or a similar attachment basically is connected to a USB cord and you can just plug it in. This just charges 
same thing you just hook it up like that it charges to the wall to your computer to the you know usb port in your car to a little external battery pack it doesn't matter it's just one side has a usb cable the other side has a magnet that goes on here so you literally charge it on the road you can charge it in your backpack so it's um it's very easy to charge so that's really user friendly that just comes into i know some people like rechargeable batteries some people like hard batteries that they can just throw in and then ditch and push fresh one in. I would just probably say, what's the length of time you're going to use the flashlight? What's the application you're gonna use it in? Are you in a situation or in a position where you can continue to recharge your battery every so many hours of operation? But for most of us, we're not gonna go through an entire flashlight's battery in, a, in an evening or in one duration. Most of us aren't doing that much um, night ops, but if you're doing a lot of stuff and you're gonna be running this you know, on for, you know, extended periods of times, hours at a time, two, four, six hours at a time, then maybe, you know, you can determine if that's good or bad, right? Uh, with that being said, when I'm running this in my hand, it's very comfortable in my hand. I like how it's just longer in my hand. I like how it's metal. So if I am using this for a daily carry, you know, I have those hard edges that I can use for self-defense. It's uh, metal, so it doesn't break as easy. It's durable, right? One of the things that I do, uh, find is that the flashlight gets warm after we've been using it for a while. I haven't really found a rifle, you know, mounted flashlight that does, you know, a thousand plus lumens, 500 plus lumens that you're going to run for an extended period of time that doesn't get hot. So it is what it is, but I haven't had it get so hot that you can't hold it bare hand, but you know, it does get warm, something to consider. So there's a few models of this. You can get it in a model that's in FDE, like seen here. You can get it where it's in black. I guess it's the same model, just different colors. But they also have another model where it actually does a, has a vibrate mode. So as the flashlight's getting ready to get low, the light will start to vibrate and it'll signal to you that, hey man, it's time to recharge or you know finish what you're doing because your light's about to go out. Maybe get your next flashlight ready if you have a backup or maybe you have these funny batteries you got an extra one that's charged and it's in your back and you can replace it without recharging it. So um, all in all, at this point in time with what I've experienced with it, I actually really like this flashlight. I like the size of it, you know what I mean? So I can use this with my uh, pistol and just holding it. I can use it for everyday use, functionality or carry, you know what I mean? I can mount it on my rifle, it's not that heavy, it locks on, super simple, plugs in, just clips in, easy to go, and when I'm done for the night, I can throw it on the charger, it's ready to rock for the next day, but uh, as far as I've experienced with it at this point, I don't really have a lot of negative, the only two negative things that I've really come across with this was... And if, if you want to call it negative, was I went to go use it one night, it was actually last night, and we didn't put it on the charger, and then we couldn't use it because I didn't have another battery that's the size that goes in this. Okay, that's proper improper planning on my, on my side, so it's not the flashlight's fault, but I was then in a situation where I didn't have the battery to go in it. So who's, you can decide on that how it is. The other thing, again, like I mentioned, the only other side, you know, negative thing that I've had was I'm here, I'm going on the O course, I'm trying to do some stuff. The flashlight doesn't work because I'm running through the O course at night. This gets snagged, the rifle's slung, we're doing some stuff, this gets caught, the wire gets pulled off, right? I feel this flopping around, my flashlight doesn't work, I feel this flopping around. Now the positive is it just clips back on, it's not like I need to turn on another flashlight to do that. It's super easy. I just have to bring this over here and find it. So it has a ring where you can actually lock it. If you see there. So now if I pull on that, it's not going anywhere, right? But at some point in time, if this gets pulled and comes back, right? It came off, but it does have a lock. Maybe I didn't lock it that time where it got yanked and came off, but it was a simple fix. It wasn't, anything. So again, that's just two minor things. But other than that, honestly, as far as uh, the flashlight goes, 
at this point in time, I've been really happy with it. It's a really cool flashlight. Um, and I definitely run it on my rifles as of right now with my current experience uh, using this. I've been very happy with this Olight uh, Odin model, the Micro. So hope that helps. Hopefully that helps you in your decision-making process when looking at this Olight Odin Mini flashlight.